on here. We're live. So we are live. Hello, everybody. So for anyone that is new here, this is the Waffle Sessions podcast. <laughs> it is. Um, and we were just oh. saying that today is actually our one year anniversary, the 31st of January, 2022. I can't. No, I can't. I really I actually can't. How has a year gone by so fast? Hey, Jen, looking forward to seeing you at the weekend. Amazing. I can't wait to give Jenny a big squeeze. Oh, me too. <laughs> so, um, a year. What's happened in a year? <laughs> it's crazy. And the fact that we've achieved 19 episodes, like, I feel like this year is just going to go get bigger and bigger. Exactly. We were we were saying the other day, weren't we, when you were down, that we've got big visions for this, big ambitions. Yes, oh, not just a that. not just a podcast, but a bit of a a bit of a movement. I think. Um, do you know? I think the the biggest lesson for that for me in that year is that we could have a year ago sat there going, right, we need to do a podcast course we need to learn how to use this, you know, stuff and that stuff, and we need to probably have the right equipment, and we could have had better cameras and microphones and all that but a year later and we've actually you know created something pretty good despite it perhaps comes across a little bit amateur sometimes because we don't know <laughs> all the things but you know we've just done it and we've learned along the way and I you know that really is quite powerful isn't it that a whole year of just learning as we go don't get us wrong though like we did we did have the kind of chats in the beginning didn't we like oh we need we, like we were trying to perfect it before we started yeah, we were, yeah we were. and we were sat there weren't we like oh we need this and then and then we just the penny dropped we were like no fuck this we're just gonna do it let's just yeah, wait just, just fucking do it yeah <laughs> Like, and a year are. later, we actually remember our AirPods because that seems to work better <laughs> from a sound point of view. It's only taken us a whole year to get there and have that. That list, and actually record know, on YouTube. Down. We're re recording on YouTube right now. Well, aren't we? we'll see. It it says it is, so we will see if it actually is. We will see if it's actually happening. Um, Gosh, we've got loads of people joining. Hello, everyone. That's that's cool. And we are. Oh yeah, you're on, you're on your digital rose, aren't you? I bloody hope I am. <laughs> Every time I'm like, <laughs> shit, am I on the right one? Uh, um, I don't. Every time I go live from somewhere, I'm like, am I on the right page? Am I on the right thing? Am I going to the right group? I get really panicky about it. <laughs> so we have got... Um, Evening, Karen. We've got an incredible week lined up, haven't we? I mean, we've got our year anniversary of our podcast. Tomorrow night, Ooh. we are going live with a few gents in the community, which I'm really excited about doing that. Kirsty and I have been prepping, prepping and prepping for a very, very special occasion on Saturday. Um, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't been here before. And heard Where the fuck have you been? Many times. But Kirsty and I will be on stage on Saturday um, just being ourselves and hopefully shedding some value to everyone in the room. There's going to be loads of people there. We are we are buzzing. We I'm are literally buzzing. There's, buzzing. There's going to be about, I think, around 200 people there. So not huge, huge, but enough people. Most of them we know. So it's going to be pretty amazing and yeah we're definitely buzzing for it so we have put something together that's very much us that's very much the journey we've been on in the last year and it's all kind of coming in at the right time so like we've got our year anniversary now we've been through a lot of stuff in the last year and then we've got this this weekend which is just incredible so I, I just can't wait I cannot wait the universe that has definitely delivered um, <laughs> this uh, this year um yes. and I think it's just gonna get bigger and bigger for us so I I literally can't wait I'm literally on a high this week I said to Kirsty I was like next week I'm just gonna crash I'm just gonna be like what the fuck just happened <laughs> <laughs> yes we've we've had we've spent a lot of a lot of time together on zoom well actually in person about a month ago wasn't it or less yeah than ago, three weeks ago and then pretty much every night on zoom we have been kind of going through all the things that we need to go through and it, it you know it's we're not together so obviously we've, we've not really been able to practice it in the same way that you would be yeah normally practicing this sort of thing but 
yeah, we're we're I think we're pretty much there really with what we're doing, aren't we? And we're, if you think yeah. about a year ago, it was the last rise, the first rise event, which is a Sheffield event, and we we said it. We said that we you know we would individually together we would love to be on stage. But mm. if someone had said we would be on the whenever it was the 16th of January last year, I don't quite I don't really think we would have believed them. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. I wouldn't have been. <laughs> I literally and I think that's a really good message for this this session actually this episode just what can change in a year is when you put your mind to it when you really just work on yourself put yourself out there and and surround yourself with the right people I can't actually comprehend how far we've come it's, it's literally crazy oh I know so yeah, this time next year, like, where will everyone be? Where where will we be? Where will you guys be? Where do you want to be? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, no dream is too. What does what does what does everyone think about you know going going on stage like that? Would that scare most of you? Would you love it? Would you hate it? Um, I don't I don't think that there's any part of me that that's been scared about it at all, and I think it helps that we're doing it together. But, um, I feel like yeah, I feel like the literally the day of I will probably be really nervous, but in like yeah. it's like good nerves though, isn't it? It's, yeah, um, it's, it's a bit it's of like a different... excitement. Hmm. Um and if yeah, if it messes up, it messes up. <laughs> we'll just laugh. <laughs> we'll just stand there and laugh, probably. Well, there's not really much we can mess up, I don't think. You know, we're just speaking from the heart. Karen's saying, yes, terrifying, but I'm going to be there one day. Yes, Karen. Yes, you freaking are. Jenny, I love it, I'd it's love scary. to, but it'd be scary. But it's on the list to do. It's on oh. the to-do list. Imagine, <laughs> imagine that on your fridge door, like your to-do list. Go on stage in front of 200 people. <laughs> well, you, yes. you said it here first. We've got it in in writing. Both Jen and Karen, you'll in you'll meet each other at the weekend. I think you two will get on like that. Oh house of my god, you two. <laughs> yes, we need to introduce you guys. You guys will really get on. Yeah, great. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. I I think it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It'll be great to see everyone anyway, won't it? Because these events, Despite that for us, it, you know, that's going to be pretty awesome. But these events always just bring the fire in whatever reason. And, you know, like it always, you always have many light bulb moments, connect with so many incredible people. And mm. there's so many more this time that are going that we've never met before. Um, so it's going to be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Jenny, let's meet up, Karen. Aww, I love <laughs> When that. are you getting there, Jenny? Are you coming Friday or are you coming Saturday? Let us so, know. Yeah, it'd be good to see you on Friday. Um, yeah, so I think it's really hard sometimes, isn't it, to look forward with a vision or with a plan and feel like sometimes that you actually can make it happen. Um, but when you can look back and see how far you've come, when you know that you've taken sort of some steps forward, it is really incredible. And, yes, you yeah. know... I look back every now and again and think, wow, okay, so we've we've done this much and we've done that much and it doesn't take much for that to to change. It's even been for me, pre like preparing for this uh, on Saturday, like, like looking back at journals that I've done and, and, and looking back on videos of myself and like just seeing that, I mean, there were some videos I was watching, I did get quite emotional because I remember the mindset that I was in, in some of those videos that I filmed mm. Mm. and just knowing how far I've come since that, those, that time, it is, it's such a, it's so fulfilling. Yeah. I, I just love it. Yeah. I just feel very fulfilled, very proud of us. Um, anyone else can, can do the same. Anyone else can do what we've done um and, do you think you know, there's um do you think there's like what moments would you pull on from this year or or what books would you say have kind of you know changed your thought process or because I think it's quite good to reflect on some of some of those things as well isn't it I feel I like was, the, um, yeah cool. sorry carry on no go on no, I was going to say, a lot of people that have been following me, like, obviously, my journey's been a lot on self-acceptance, self-love. Um, Vex King, 
massive oh, one. That. Yeah, that's a good book, that is. Really easy read. But this one, this one's the one, Camila. Now, this one stands out to me the most because of this. I need to read it again, actually. Um, it's called Daring Greatly by Brené. If you haven't read that, that literally, that changed the game for me, this book. Just about vulnerability, a lot on shame, a lot on guilt, which is something that I've had to overcome with my story and what I've gone through. But it's it's really strange because when I felt when I thought of like shame and guilt, th there's so much more to it than just like, oh, I feel guilty for that. Like, it's so like deep rooted in that book. Mm. Um, helped me. So Yeah, I have I've got that book, but I haven't actually read it yet. I think my journey's been slightly different to yours in that yeah. I needed to rebuild rebuild my confidence and so kind of did did the digging on you know who I am and where all that came that whole issue came from with my lack of confidence mm. but it was like I need I needed the I needed the pep talk stuff so I read just fucking do it and I read <laughs> feel the fear and do it anyway and it was like that's what that's what I needed is like what am I afraid of Tough love you needed. I needed tough love, yeah. which I'm very good at dishing out, as you know. But, you know, I'm not always that good at dishing it out to myself in the right way. I can be tough on myself, mm. but the, the love word doesn't come into it. Um, or I let myself get away with things that I shouldn't be. Yeah. And so I, I needed books like that. And I think that at the beginning of the year, that's what I was reading. And that's what really sent me on this kind of path of rebuilding my confidence. Mm. Um, yeah, and it's just been it's been an interesting journey because I didn't yeah. realize that I'd lost my confidence really. So it was kind of like a real uncovering of, of who I was in that moment. Absolutely. I don't think either, I'm so sorry. I just like dropped something. I don't think either, <laughs> just messing up <laughs> I don't think either of us realized that I, f I feel like we just didn't realize well, we just the first year of business we just wasn't like nothing was moving for us like I, I think we were very much in the victim mentality like yeah, rah, rah, rah. yeah and until the until the time we literally just faced it and was like right fucking you two stop this <laughs> work on your stuff work on what's actually going on here mm -hmm. um I just certainly was living completely I feel like I always knew deep down that I was pushing stuff down but you just get into mm. that rut don't you where you just keep living and you just you just like just float through life and mm. it just be yeah. life becomes so much more powerful when you actually do the work I think there's that sort of for me it's sort of very it's that very British mentality in a way it's like oh yeah put a mask over it keep calm and carry on kind of situation don't let anybody know there's a problem um, mm. And, it, uh, you know, I, I think feel like in a way I was sort of brought up like that. It's like if you fall over and hurt yourself, just brush it off and keep going. And everything in my whole life then turned out that way. And so you don't realise it becomes it becomes a habit, it becomes something that you just is part of your psyche. It's part of something that you do every day. Yeah. And you don't notice it. It's just there. Mm. Um, so when wet the, it was like the first year of this business for me, it was lots of niggling things that were annoying me. And I was like, why, why do I have a problem with that? Why am I not able to do this? Why am I not? And it was, I was like really like struggling with it all until mm. I really did that, did that work and did that sort of uncovering. Um, and I think we are very fortunate that we have the online business community that we do is that, and I said this before that, you know, the mirror was held up in front of me. Yeah, the mirror was held up in front of me, and I was like, "Right, I need, I now need, I now need to look at that." Yeah. Oh my gosh. Also, I want to bring up. I went to a psychic reading on Sunday. Now, for those of you who think that's a bit woo-woo and weird, <laughs> I get it. It I is know. a bit woo-woo and cool. weird. I absolutely loved it. Mind blowing. If you get to, if you find a medium, a spiritual medium that you connect with and that you know it's like with anything like there's some people that you just won't mesh with and they won't mesh with you and you have to find that right person luckily I was recommended this lady blew me away like it was just and I went in there skeptical I didn't say anything it was like yes or no answers 
luckily my mum was with me listening in and she could like validate that what she was saying was true because some of the stuff like I had no idea um yeah incredible it was just amazing uh but what I wanted to say was that (laughs) that led to me and my mum actually having real conversations after Mm. about the journey that I've been on which I never thought would happen yet but I feel like that all happened for a reason Mm. um and I kind of explained the journey that I'd been on and I think Mm. it made a lot of sense to her Mm. and she and what reminded me of that was you saying the very British you know just carry on and my mum said pretty much similar that in our house for hold it was very much just fucking get on with it kind of thing because that's how yeah. she grew up yeah. um so yeah and now things are coming out of the out of the woodworks that need to be worked on so oh, that, that, but that's lovely though that's lovely that you you and your mum have been able to connect on a, a completely different Deep level, level that's, yeah that's incredible that's so nice um yeah and that experience you kind of shared together as well and she was mm. able to validate some of the stuff that the medium was saying and yeah that's that's really really beautiful yeah I love that tell everybody what the first thing that the medium said about oh my god how did I miss that part out right guys so I sat down I sat down like I'm not even joking like my mum wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute before you do that so um before you do that how tall are you (laughs) I'm five foot I'm five foot eight right and I'm five foot two so okay, we'll so we have this running joke. Okay, I've probably shared it on my stories actually when we were like together. And uh, there's this running joke that Percy is so fucking short and I'm so tall. Like, and it's just we look ridiculous together. You, like, actually, we, you, what did you say when you were out with me and Camila? You said I'm like Gandalf with my hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf with extensions. <laughs> Anyway, I seem to attract like I just I'm I'm just always taught the tall one. Anyway, so <laughs> right, okay. So there's this running joke with me and Kirsty. We've been talking about it whilst on stage. Like Kirsty should get a step, like jokes like, like a little that. kid just, step you know, to stand on. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna wear heels because I'm gonna look ridiculous next to Kirsty. <laughs> anyway, so I go into this medium, I sit down. She does her thing, she does the cards, takes my hand, all that malarkey. And she literally looked at me and she goes, and this, uh, honestly, guys, this is word for word. She goes, <laughs> do you have a really tiny friend? <laughs> like, she, she was like, really short, uh, brunette hair. And all I can see is you two just laughing together. And I literally just sat there, I was like, what? And I said, is this person in the real world or are they past? She was like, no, 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 not past. Like, she's definitely in the real world. And I was like, holy shit, she's talking about Kirsty. And then she was like, I just see this great friendship. And you're just laughing, but she's really, really short. <laughs> she saying that she's really short. And I just sat there and I looked at mum. I was like, she's talking about Kirsty. And mum was like, holy shit. I was like, what is going on? I couldn't believe it. It's but I feel like worrying. that was probably spirit just wanting, just, she keeps, she kept telling these things just to kind of like validate that what she was saying was, was related to me. But that was yeah. just so. I mean that you can't, you couldn't <laughs> have guessed that, could she? That was very so specific. <laughs> when I came out, when I came out of the reading, I, um, I literally messaged Kirsty straight away, didn't I? I was like, you're yeah. not going to believe this, but you literally came through. <laughs> <laughs> It's mental, but it's amazing though. At the same time, like for someone to be that spot on, and it's just the way she delivered it. And like what Mm. mediums do, they deliver it in a way that they receive it Mm. how they're supposed to. She was like, she's really short and (laughs) tiny with brunette hair. It's just like, yeah, I know exactly you're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) Did she? She didn't say one of us are going to fall off stage or no, none of that. None of that. No. (laughs) She knew about my business. Mm, She knew all about that. So yeah, I can't. The last time I went to one was about 
two years ago a bit, bit less than two years ago i think and he was really he was really good and um he oh, predicted he? yeah so i know it's was it longer than two years ago or maybe it was three years ago no it was three years ago it was three years ago and at the time i was doing something else and he said you're going to do that but something similar but it's not the same it's something different it's better and it's gonna you're gonna do really well at it he basically predicted this business which oh. I was about because I did that travel thing first didn't I oh, which was yeah. a load of crap and then and then about a year later I found this and he'd wow. sort of predicted that that was going to happen I've got a recording I need to listen back to what he what he said as well but he was saying stuff about my sister that was true at the time and just yeah really really it's crazy really how they i don't know how they do it but no. you know if you're into yeah. it you're into it if you're not i suggest going anyway <laughs> with an open mind just uh, go in there yeah <laughs> i mean talking of talking of things that are a bit woo woo i mean i've always been a bit i suppose skeptical about that sort of stuff i almost want to catch them out i'm like give me something that's really tangible so the fact that she said you know to you about me and that that's clearly obvious like there's there's no it's not fluffing around it kind of maybe hitting the mark ish it's really directly like a fact it's, it's just the way it wasn't like she was like oh you've got a friend this brunette she's a little bit shorter than you it was just the way you've got a really short tiny friend <laughs> <laughs> brunette <laughs> yeah I know who that is and I just you just was like I see you laughing like all the time and you just got this great connection and I was like yeah I know exactly who that is I feel like that's all we've done in January is just laugh. It's just laugh, I know. It's Shout just, at the computer yeah. a bit. Yeah, not not too not too much. Say the B <laughs> word a little bit too much. Um, the B word? You just bastard. said fuck on the screen and you're not saying bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you just said we thought oh, we thought we'd fuck it. <laughs> uh, and now you're like, oh the B word. It's not that a <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh bloody hell <laughs> oh bloody hell <laughs> anyway um, <laughs> so is anyone is, is anyone watching got any book recommendations for, any, for us or anybody i love here? how you're trying to rein this in Kirsty. i know i know because everyone's going <laughs> karen howling <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to be going bloody hell at the weekend, putting that British thing back on again. Bloody hell, chaps. <laughs> right, no, serious now, business. Personal well, development, books. Any book Karen, is there a book is you're reading? Yes. Karen, is there a book you're reading at the moment? Victoria, is there a book you're reading at the moment? Let us know. Being as your t our two biggest fans right now, as it seems to be, <laughs> Blooming Egg. <laughs> There's another one. I haven't actually picked up a book for, for a while. I don't know why my head's gone out of the game. So a, a year ago, I was sort of on on quite a lot of books per month. I think I was reading one a month up until that point. And then I've been a bit, I've read some, but I've been a bit more hit and miss as to Mm. yeah you've gone but just keep we're just gonna move we could, oh you're there oh it's really annoying why is it doing that's what i was doing earlier before i before i did my it on it i'm listening Car to Car the Car subtle art oh the subtle art i'm not the subtle art i'm not giving a duck oh look karen we're on the oh, same yeah. page honey <laughs> not duck though <laughs> we can say duck it's a good book this one we got we we actually used it for some inspiration for um something that me and Kirsty were working on and then we we, we kind of were like that's a little bit aggressive we can't <laughs> yeah, say was, that when we looked back at it we realized that we must have been tired at that point because it was really quite aggressive and we were like no we can't really be saying that to everybody <laughs> <laughs> not really the kind of message that we need to give out <laughs> um, back on the great, miracle great. morning i've not read the miracle morning I um I know a lot of people recommend that one. What I did read once was the the five AM Club, but I'm just can't. I just know I we're just, not five AMers, are we? I really can't. I just can't. I mean, I know that some people can do it and all that stuff. And then I read a book, 
I that might have been a year ago actually by Rob Moore, which was called um, uh, "Start Now, Get Perfect Later." And in it, he talks about his journey with that whole get up at 5 a.m. thing. And it kind of gave me the validation I needed to not worry about getting up at 5 a.m. What he said is you have to make it work for you. So, that's, mm -hmm. so he did this test. He was testing what worked for him, what coffee, what time in the morning, what time he needed to go to bed and how productive he was with all of those things pulled together. Mm -hmm. And so he worked out that if he was in bed by 11 o'clock, he needed to be up by half past six and he needed to drink this coffee and he needed to do this next and that's how he then goes about his day because for him that's making him the most productive and that wow. just made me stop panicking about you know following a certain way and having to do 5am club and having to do this that, and the other and there's no one size fits all ever no exactly um I think yeah a lot of people start out like that especially in this business it's like, oh, I can only be successful if I wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> it's like, not the case, guys. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> okay, exactly. You, I could had, do the 5 um, you could do the 5 a.m. routine at any point of the day as long as you do it. <laughs> I know. I had a time where I tried to get up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym. And I just, after like three days, I was like all motivated for three days. And then I was just like, I was thinking of every excuse under the sun not to go. And I just thought, well, why am I doing this to myself? Not healthy. I much prefer to go to the gym in the evening. It's just just the way I roll. I much rather do other stuff during the day and gym in the evening. That's it. It works for me. Yeah. Um, but I got this thing in my head that was like, right, get it out of the way in the morning and then I'll be really productive for the rest of the day. And it just killed me. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Uh, um, I'm a bit of a night owl. I always have been. I don't, I, I'm okay getting up early, but getting up early and being productive are two different things. Um, I don't know when you sleep. Honestly, she she messaged messages me last at like eleven, and then she messaged me again at like five a.m. And I'm like, not five a.m. It wasn't five a.m. It was it like wasn't seven a.m. Seven a.m. I'm like, when the like, have you bloody slept this evening? <laughs> like, what Ad is Ad going Ad on? Adele always says that to me as well. She said, Do you ever sleep, woman? <laughs> I can't help it when I'm on a roll. I just that's it. I have to keep going. Otherwise, going. I can't sleep. My brain yeah. is just active and then I can't I can't carry on and try and sleep. I have to kind of get it out of my system, which isn't maybe not is not the healthiest thing to do, but it's just the way I function. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Just the way it is. Um, what time are we at? We're at mm. oh, we're almost at half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, something. with YouTube, we're gonna do ten minute episodes and that's it. I don't think we could do a ten minute episode. I don't know if we knew would know how. We'd have to script it all to make sure that we only said what we needed to say. <laughs> and this is what we want to say this week. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, okay, go bye. <laughs> it's like, no, no. There's no time yeah. for waffling. Definitely, it needs it needs to be that that length of time, doesn't it? Half an hour does feel about right. I think for giving enough information, chatting to a few people and you know sharing what we've learned that week it's it's 10 minutes is not enough definitely not um, um yeah yeah On I, that note. um well i think we now need to go back to presentation mode we do <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to leave you with that so anyone that is obviously watching on any of these platforms we will probably share some of the uh behind the scenes and bits and pieces you know after the event we maybe do maybe do some stuff tomorrow and the next day while we're getting ready for the weekend. Stu, don't freak me out like that. Come on. Why do we need a script? We're just going to waffle, mate. What are you talking about? It's totally <laughs> unplanned. Exactly. We've we got don't know. Minutes. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> We've we just should... talked for half an hour with no plan and no script. So I think we should be all right for forty minutes, shouldn't we? Don't you reckon? Yeah, we'll be fine. We don't need a plan. Eh? We've got we've got matching outfits. That's all we need to worry about. <laughs> Winging it. That's our middle name, Karen. Come on, you know this. <laughs> no, no, we don't need a script. It's all good. We have prompts. Little prompts. Little prompts. Anyways, going to... we're going to love you and leave you now because we do have to get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> back this to work. back this to the grind. Fun. This is fun. Well, the other <laughs> stuff is also fun, but it's more necessary. 
It better be good. I've changed my ticket. Jet right, you not, you not are freaking me out. You're, you not, you not are as bad as knew it. Stop it. You not are as bad as Andy knew it. He, he this week, not directly to me, but through Kirsty, what she's been telling me, I'm like, I'm gonna kill him on Friday. I'm literally so gonna Andy kill him. Knew it, if you are watching. <laughs> Meg's coming for you. I literally <laughs> am. <laughs> anyway. anyway, on that note, we're going to go. Love you and leave you. If you're going to see you at the weekend, see you at the weekend. Goodbye. Bye bye. See you soon. See you next week. <sighs>